Hey guys, it's Brienne here. So I hope everyone's social distancing, self quarantine, self isolation is going well. And I hope that everyone's not going a little too crazy. But yeah, so I don't want to make this intro too long because I always tend to. But basically, just like the title suggests, I just want to talk to you about what I've been reading while so social distancing and that right now in self quarantine. And yeah, and so. I've been reading a lot actually. I haven't really been watching anime. I don't know. I kind of got sick of it after the first week of not leaving my house. So I decided to start reading and I actually haven't been reading too 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 much um, manga. I've actually been reading a lot of, I pray I'm saying this way, right? Like I literally YouTubed it before starting this video. It is uh, Korean. Manhwa. My lighting totally just changed for some reason. I don't know why my lighting just changed. Manhwa. Korean. Yeah, but I've been reading a lot of manhwa, I hope I'm saying that right, instead of manga. And yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys what I've been reading because I'm sure if you're bored like me, you might want to be looking for new stuff to read. So I'll just kind of give a little quick reviews, maybe give a little summary, and that I'm probably going to be using my Kitsu app. Not sponsored, not trying to get sponsored, I just freaking love that app. Alright, so I'm just going to go on my app, like I said, and look at my profile because there it shows like all the chapter because I always update my chapters and like completed ma manga and everything or completed anime. Should I mention things that I didn't really like? Because <laughs> I just finished reading this. What is it? It's called Canaria Child. I'll probably pop a picture up if I remember. It's just a manga with four chapters and it was like a horror fantasy drama romance according to the tags. It was a really really quick read being four chapters but it was just like this weird horror romance kind of predictable sort of manga that it was okay. Wouldn't read it again. But anyways let's get into the good stuff. Alright so the first thing I'm seeing you can't really see but it is Daughter of the Emperor so I completely forgot about this manhwa. I hope I'm saying that right. Please don't yell at me if I'm not. I completely forgot about this and I actually started reading two other ones. Like continued reading, like I already started them but they just have so many chapters. And then I was scrolling through my like little manga app that I use and I saw this one and I was like holy shit I love this one. So yeah, I think I had like 20 chapters or so to read that have been released. So I'm on chapter 181. Oh my god, I love it. It's so good. All the manual I'm kind of going to be talking about are really, really similar. So, so if you don't like the sound of this one, odds are you're not going to like any of them. Because they're all like isekai and really like similar. But yeah. So I'll read you the summary. It's really, really short. So I'm going to say this name wrong. So Ari, Ariadna, Ariadna, Lyric Il Istri. There's more. This is her name. <laughs> Pre- Agrigent? Probably butchered that. And so my life begins with this ridiculously long name. Oh, she knows. <laughs> Born to royalty and the center of attention, all because of one dangerous man. The- holy fuck, what are these words? <laughs> the veritably insane tyrant king, ruthless conqueror of ten emperors, nightmare of all continents, and my father. Will I be able to su survive this maniac? Based on the hit series of novels. Oh, there's novels. So yeah, so basically it's just like a comedy, right here, the tags are comedy, fantasy, drama, sojo, and romance. It's just one of those manhwas that I've noticed are really, really common lately where like you're being reborn and you're reborn a princess or something like that. And you have to figure out how to survive essentially is like the common theme. And they sound so cheesy and so stupid, but wow, I've really, really been liking them. Um, so yeah, there's this one, and then there's kind of like love interest in that, and I love when there's more than one, uh, mul like one possible love interest, cause like, I don't know, I just love that shit. I don't know why, but I do. Spoiler, not spoiler, I'm rooting for Havel. Mm, I hope he wins. I don't know who wins. I didn't realize there was novels. I am tempted to check those out now. I just really, really like this, and I can't wait for it to update. I noticed on the website I was using, it seems to update every like six days or so, nine days. So I'm hoping that will come soon and come through because I'm dying in isolation. But alright, so there's that one and then there is... So that's the one I like, but I don't like it as much as the previous one and the next one I'm going to be talking about. But this one is I am a child of this house. Again, really, really similar idea. I'll read the summary really, really quick. So it says Pink Eyes has always lived a relatively normal life 
with two exceptions. First, she has gained memories of her previous life as CEO Young, sorry. And second, she is someone and she is someone's illegitimate daughter. One day, however, when she turns 11 years old, her prostitute mother takes her to the Empire Soul Duke. Empire Soul Duke and claims her as his child. Although he seems to not believe her, he nevertheless nevertheless buys pink eyes for 2000 gold. With that, her new life as Estelle starts. But what truly awaits her and is she really a child of this house? So yeah, same kind of idea. The categories are slice of life, sojo, romance, isekai, historical, and fantasy. Same idea as the previous one. I find it it's really, really good. I don't really see a love interest in this one as much. Like, I see one possible one, maybe two, but the second one's kind of weird. But yeah, it doesn't really have too many reviews, or people haven't really talked about it a lot on Kitsu, but I, I do enjoy it. I've been reading that. I'm on chapter 75. That's the last chapter that I, at the time of filming it, that there is. So yeah, that's another manhwa. And so now, the manhwa that started it all. What is this one? Oh my god, I forgot about this one. I have another one. I have another one. And another one. <laughs> Basically, this is a video about Manwa. But so, the one that started it all, all was Who Made Me a Princess. I started reading it. It says it came out in 2017, so I probably started reading it in 2017. And I'll summarize it really quick. So, it says the beautiful a Athanasia was killed at the hands of her own biological father, Claude de Alger Ob Oblia. They love long names. The cold-blooded emperor. It's just a silly bedtime story until one woman wakes up to suddenly find she's become the unfortunate princess. She needs a plan to survive her doomed fate and time is running out. Will she go with plan A, live as quietly as possible without being noticed by the infamous emperor? Plan B, collect enough money to escape the palace? Or will, or will she be stuck with plan C? Plan C, sweet talking her way into her father's good graces. So this one, I love. This one is my favorite out of all the ones I've mentioned so far. I am on, I'm only on chapter 69. I feel like there's more chapters. Maybe. I don't know. Actually, no, there is only 69 because 69 was just released. And there, my favorite character comes back. Spoiler. His name's Lucas. Love him. He's my, like, baby. My favorite, favorite character. But yeah, it's pretty much exactly as the summary says. It's just another one of those isekai. But this one I really, really like. There's like two potential love interests. There's like another side character that kind of is important and has a big role. And yeah, this one's just really, really good. I know this one has a novel. I did find the translated version or part of the translated version on Wattpad. Someone, someone commented it, so I checked it out because I'm impatient. Um, but yeah, this one's super, super good. The artwork is amazing. All the artwork, honestly, and all the things I've mentioned are amazing. I definitely recommend checking this one out first because this one is my favorite of all the ones I've mentioned. All right, so I completely forgot I read this one, but this one's called Queen with a Scalpel. It's another manual. I believe it goes by another name. When I started reading it, I think it had another name. Dr. Elise or something? Or the lady with the lamp? The queen with the lamp? I think the queen with... I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, I'll read the summary really, really quick. So it says, In the first life, she was a terrible queen who brought trouble to her country, and eventually her own king burned her at the stake. In the second life, she became a talented surgeon, redeeming herself for her past, saving people. But because of a plane crash, the talented surgeon, Song Zi Hun, Hun? returns to her former life. This time, she decides to change everything, becoming a doctor. So this one's another really, really good one. Um, it's probably, I'd probably put Who Made Me a Princess first on this list and then this one's second because I really, really do enjoy this one. I'm all caught up on chapter 109. Oh, there's a novel for this one too. I'm learning. I've also apparently really spammed this one on the Kitsu feed. My name keeps popping up. But yeah, it's just another really good one. There is like the main love interest. There's kind of like a love triangle aspect, but not really. I don't think the other guy has a chance in all honesty got my tea because uh here I'll also show you what else I've been reading just really really quickly oh right the other one I wanted to talk about I actually haven't checked there probably is more chapters let me just find the name because I don't have it I believe on Kitsu and I don't really remember the name what I just realized when I film these videos I should make my camera higher and then show my manga collection because I feel like that's just a little bit more like aesthetically pleasing so, the one I'm talking about is called Sincerely I Became a Duke's 
made. Apparently the last chapter I read was chapter 43. Again, it's another one, the exact same idea. Um, an isekai being reborn, this time instead of being like a princess or a queen, um, the person's reborn into a maid. And so the description I have for this one is just, I woke up one day inside the story of a novel as the maid of the disgraced duke and side character Alejandro Quilio, Quilio Vale, Vale, Leviti, Leviti. Will Alejandro's fate change with the appearance of a new extra character? What is the truth behind his cursed mask? So this one's another one I really, really like. I don't know if there's updates. I'm not going to waste time checking that out. There probably is because I haven't read this in like two months. So I'll probably read that after filming this video, actually. I've also been, I also read another chapter of Yona of the Dawn. That was really, I love that. One, one of my all-time favorite mangas. Um, I love that one so, so, so much. Can't get enough of it. I don't know how I feel about the latest chapter. And I hate that Hawk and Yona are, spoiler, I hate that Hawk and Yona are separated because, like, so much happened and then they got separated and it's so freaking annoying but it's fine I like my phone case it's bts b mm. but yeah should i talk about more i think that's enough i feel like this video probably isn't really really helpful since i just literally listed some minwas i'll link them down below in case you don't want to listen to me and just want to like be able to see what i'm reading because I feel like I always kind of go rambly and long with these videos, even though I try not to. But I really, really actually enjoy filming these videos. They were originally really, really out of my comfort zone, but now, like, I look forward to filming them. I literally, like, just put on makeup today as something to do because I feel like it made me feel more productive because, like, I'm stuck inside all day. I did sit outside for a bit and pass a football around with my brother because it is really, really nice. It was, like, 14, 15 degrees today and really sunny. But then I was, like what should I do now? And I was like, I'll sit down and film because I haven't filmed in a little while, it feels like. And yeah, I just really, really look forward to filming these videos. I do have some other like true crime videos like I researched in that, but with how the world is right now, I don't really feel like sitting down and filming like depressing true crime videos. I know people really, really like them and look forward to them, but I just kind of want to make videos on a bit of a lighter note. And I never actually like, I don't know, I never expected people to actually watch these, but I put up two videos now, and I think the video, last video that I put up filming this was my Chihaya, uh, Chihaya Furu video, and that one's doing okay, but then I went back and saw my video that I posted just about Kitsu, um, the app I use to track my manga and anime and, like, just talk to people about manga and anime. That has way more views than I thought it would. Like, I'm a small channel, I, I'm aware of that, and, like... It was so out of my comfort zone and like so last minute for me to film it that I just saw the other day it has like 600 views and like I was like what? I was like I feel like the video is so bad but like no one disliked it so I don't know. But yeah now I feel like I'm just talking to the camera because I've got nothing better to do. I do have another anime related video that I filmed like first before all my other videos. It's on edited though, so this one might go up before it. That one's just like talking about my five favorite animes. But I just figured I'd share with you guys what I've been reading the past few days. Sad how I just listed like six different things that I've been reading the past few days because I've been doing nothing else. And yeah, like I've read some other like manga in that. I've been reading a lot of just like short manga that are really, really quick to finish. Just because why not? I'll, I'll mention a few. Of what, sh what should I do? Like a few runner ups. What is it? Honorable, me honorable mentions. So yeah, I mentioned Yona. I've been reading this one. I mentioned it in my last video, the Chihaya video. I don't know how to say this. Nama i Kizakari. Nama i Kizakari. I don't know the English name. I'm guessing this is just it. I just have no idea how to say it. But I have been really, really enjoying that one. It's just like a sports anime about basketball, but there's like a shit ton of romance in it. I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't really like the main character in all honesty. I feel like he kind of has like... Like, I just feel like... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the main like male character. He has like his odd moments, but I really do enjoy him. And there is a bit of like a love triangle sort of aspect. And I love those. So yeah, if you hate those, I would not recommend listening to things I recommend because... I tend to go for love triangles. I also started reading Vampire Night again. I am on chapter 56 out of 94. Actually, I might read that after filming this video 
just because it's completed and I love completing manga. I feel really, really accomplished when I do so. So I might do that tonight, maybe try to finish that. It is only 9 o'clock right now, so I could probably do it. <laughs> also, I put on this lip gloss and it's so light that I feel like when I was like in grade 9 and like everyone like put concealer on their lips for some reason. That's what I, the vibe I'm getting. Oh, I finished. I didn't realize I, I was in my reading now instead of my completed and I've completed four mangas in the past few days. So I completed, this one doesn't have an English name. Inochi, Miji, Kashi, Koi, Seiyo, Fu, Ryu, Shonen. It only had eight chapters. The summary was so short that I was like, what the hell is this? Sure, I'll read it because the artwork looked pretty. It just said, if you don't date her, you'll die. That was the pr prediction made to that delinquent boy. But what will be his destiny? I checked it out. It was okay. Like, I probably wouldn't go to my way. No. I definitely wouldn't go to my way to read it again. I finished it because, like, I refuse to drop manga even if it's shit. Like, I will sit through to so I can add it to my completed list. So yeah, I did that one. I wouldn't read it again. I finished another, which had 20 chapters. It was like a horror thriller manga. It was kind of confusing, I'm not gonna lie. I did read it at night when I was half asleep, so that could also be why I was very, very confused. It was okay. I wouldn't read it again. I'm happy I finished it so I could add it to my completed list. It had some fucked up moments, but it was nothing like really, really memorable. Um, check it out if you want though. And then the last manga I completed was Akuma to Duet. Um, it only had four chapters. It just says, due to her ability to tame demons, Mel has been persecuted as a witch all her life. One day she's summoned to the castle and asked to marry Prince Claude, but Prince Claude is, but Prince Claude is actually. And yeah, it was like an interesting concept. I'll give you that. Um, it was kind of really, really slow in the beginning, even though there was only four chapters. And I couldn't really, really get into it, but I did like tough it out just to finish it. So yeah, wouldn't read that again. I think I've really just been feeling Manwa just because they're like, the chapters are so much shorter, but the artwork is so gorgeous. Like manga clearly has really, really gorgeous artwork. I've talked about it before, but like, I love the colors and everything that Manwa has. Like, I don't know. I don't know. And I feel like it's just quicker to read Manwa half the time than manga because manga, manga tends to have more uh, actual words while Manwa to me has more pictures. I don't know if I'm wrong. I could be wrong. But yeah, so this video is like 25 minutes. So I guess I'll get going so I can finish Vampire Night Tonight and then read Sincerely I Became the Duke's Maid or whatever I said it was called. I'll try to pop pictures up for all the manga, for all the manga and manhwa I mentioned. And yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff down below. If you have any recommendations for me, we're probably going to be on lockdown for another month or two, guys, so feel free to leave that below. If you don't like any of the manga I listed, well, that's too bad, or manual, sorry. Just feel free to click out of this video. You don't have to be rude. You don't have to hate me. But yeah, I can't really think of anything else to say. Hope everyone's staying safe in quarantine right now and everyone's staying inside because the sooner we all accept the fact that we just need to social isolate and stay inside, the sooner that this virus will hopefully be gone so then we can go back to living our lives whether that be us stuck inside anyways or if we're social people me personally i like staying home but being told that i should be at home and i shouldn't leave the house makes me want to leave the house so it's really annoying <laughs> if you guys like these videos please let me know because they are out of my comfort zone but i really really do enjoy filming them now to me they're just a good time and i find they're just like positive and up beat and we kind of need that right now but yeah i hope you guys are having a great day or had a great day and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye guys